Hi guys, I'm Alexana and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to Trying Kitchen Things Baker Edition where I'm sharing with you guys things that I would sell at my cafe where my concept is that every week I would get inspired by different cuisines from around the world and provide like a special item I've recently just moved from Paris back home so I decided today we're gonna get inspired by France and a march to the Olympic we're gonna do three typical dishes that I've not had the possibility to taste while I was in France. Well, except one. These dishes are gonna feature two savory ones and one sweet one. Normally, I do more sweet than savory, so this is a big change. The savory dishes I've never tried before, and I'm very excited to get to try them with you guys. But let's just get started before I keep rambling on and on and on. I'm fine. Let's just move on and get started with our first recipe, which is one of the savory ones, and that is, hopefully I can pronounce it right, a croque monsieur. Now, if you don't know what a croque monsieur is, it's this sandwich where you put a bechamel sauce, and you put some ham, some grated cheese, more grated cheese on top, and then you put it in the oven. And if you want to do a croque madame, then you just put an egg on top. I think that's the key difference, but I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it would be super super easy to just go buy some vegan slices and some vegan ham but I decided to make my own cheese we're gonna make our own vegetable sauce as well and for the ham element I decided that it would be very nice to have some smoked tofu as like the ham piece if I had a cafe I would probably make my own cheese and then properly partner with Herrera foods their ham reminds me so much of the smell of my childhood from Spain let's just get started because the cheese that we have to do has to set for a few hours you know it's more of the waiting game which we completely hate here but let me tell you all about the ingredients for the cheese we're gonna need some milk some yogurt as well moving on to nutritional yeast or as i like to call it my drag get some help then we have the magic agar agar powder tapioca flour to thicken it up and then spices paprika black pepper salt and for the color, turmeric. So let's just start by measuring the ingredients. First with measuring the milk. I'm actually very excited about this because I've never made my own vegan cheese. I'm not the biggest fan of cheese, never have been, never really gotten into the cheese wagon. After the yogurt, we add the drug of our choice. If you want a more cheesy flavor, then you add a bit more, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna add the paprika now. Normally you add the spices last. But, you know, we like to mess it up around here. We're not ones to follow recipes. If we actually follow the recipes, that would be a big accomplishment. Like, I don't know how people do it, honestly. Now we add our agar agar powder. If you want it thicker, then you have to put more of this. Oh, we're just down to the spices. You can even make it fancier and put some herbs and stuff. Look at that color. Now we mix until tapioca is well mixed together. I don't know what it is about tapioca, but it like makes this clumps see you could also use a blender to make this faster i'm too lazy to go clean up a whole blender afterwards i'm fine that looks well mixed in kind of now we're gonna move over to our stove right here hopefully i don't burn this also guys let me know how we, you like this new setup and now we're just gonna pour a mixture and now we whisk until it thickens and this is like risotto you have to like stay and whisk but i mean it smells cheesy oh look at that thickness and now we're gonna lower to medium heat and we're gonna cook for about 10 minutes i think we might be done we're gonna put it inside this little bowl i mean it's looking good I'm trying to get everything pan out so this is not gonna be the prettiest looking cheese but you know as long as the flavor is there but that's our very good looking handsome cheese ready to be placed in the fridge until we have to do the croque monsieur i might be saying it wrong but i really like saying it let's clean this mess and then move on to the vegetable sauce good night it's high for around one hour Right, clean. A few inches later. Then moving on to the vegetable sauce. We're gonna start by cutting a bit of onions. And do you guys, when you cut onions, do you cry a lot? I've actually never done a bechamel. Now let's start the cooking process. I need to first measure the flour and the milk. Because I think otherwise we might actually burn the stuff. Plain 
white flour. And now that we've measured the flour, we measure the milk. And basically, apart from that, you just need spices. But a spice that you definitely need for this one is bay leaf. Okay, so now we put onions. And if you have fresh garlic, you can use that as well. Still trying to build my spice tolerance. If you guys have any spicy recipe you want me to try and make, I could do that. So now we're supposed to add the flour slowly so it, it incorporates with the onions. I've burned pasta before, but flour, that's gonna be reaching a new level of plumpness in the kitchen. And now we add the milk slowly. Look at those clumps. Okay, let's just keep mixing. It's like tapioca. Now we add the grated nutmeg. A bit of pepper, a bit of salt. I think I would prefer if I had onion powder because then you wouldn't have the pieces of onion. Now we have to add the nutritional yeast, a bit, and a bit of black salt. And I think that's it. That's looking good. Look at that. All that's left to do is actually assemble it and enjoy it. It's time to check on our cheese. I'm hoping it has set. Okay, guys, look at that. Like, that looks kind of like cheese, right? Come on, look at that. Basically, we have all our ingredients. We have the vegetable sauce, the cheese ready to be grated, the smoked tofu, and for a choice of bread, sourdough bread that I've done. Which if you want to check out how I did, you have to go check the first video of the series. I've been doing it or not. So let's just assemble now. So what I'm going to do is grate the vegan ham cake. Does work. I was going to cut it on my own, but I guess like this could work. I think that's good enough for our vegan ham. Almost there, guys. And we haven't cut ourselves, which is a big achievement. Let's layer this baby up. And I think I'm going to do an open toast situation just to make it a bit cuter. And now the ham, right? And now it's time to grate the cheese. And hopefully it works. It's kind of working, kind of not. Then we're just gonna, you know, place it like this. Then. I think next time I put more agar agar powder. And as a final touch, we're gonna put some dry lime. And now we place this in the oven. And now all we have to do is wait and clean. A few minutes later. It's time to take it out. It's looking good, guys. Look at that. It's time to cut it and try it. I'm very excited about this. That's very good. I'm just happy it didn't burn the bechamel. The smoked tofu adds nice flavor. But again, if you want to make it even easier, all you have to do is just bechamel. That was our cook monsieur. That was the first recipe done. But now let's move on to the next one. And I'm very excited about this one because it's very nostalgic to me. And that is a ratatouille. We had to make this dish. It's my mom's favorite movie. So let's just get started. The first thing we have to do is cut some tomatoes. If I had a yellow squash, I would do that as well, but I don't. So it has to be our croquette and over and then I also decided to add some tempeh. This one is like round and I feel like it would be perfect for the dish. But let's get prepping our veggies first and then we have to make the tomato sauce. The reason why I decided to make ratatouille because I just got this big aubergine and this big croquette. When am I gonna get the opportunity to use such beautiful summer produce? But I'm trying to cut this as thin as I can. I think that's good. Like I love summer veggies, don't get me wrong, but I cannot wait for autumn because I love different pumpkins, especially when they're roasted in the oven. Now, next, let's cut this. How perfect is this that it's round? I'm trying to cut it as best as I can because I kind of messed it up here. And we're gonna use this little tray. And now let's move on to the sauce. For the sauce, we're gonna need some pepper, some onion, and some garlic. We also need a can of chopped tomatoes. Look, it's a meal. I don't know how much we're gonna need. Again, not the greatest one at chopping. That's something I need to learn. But you know, this is why we made this video, so I can beat Gordon Ramsay. Probably never gonna watch this, and if he does, he's probably gonna make a TikTok laughing about how I'm cutting this. Hi Gordon, how are you doing? But no, if you're watching this, I'm a very passionate person. I'm a quick learner, actually. He's probably not gonna see this. I'm almost crying, but I'm not. I would not say I'm crying because of the onion or because I'm getting emotional. You'll never know. So let's heat up the pan. It's time to put this inside the pan. And we're going to saute this for around two minutes. Now we're covering the pan. So then the juices 
Holy cow, it sounds so professional. Trust me, I'm not. Get some help. We're gonna preheat the oven at 180 degrees. Now we're gonna add some seasoning. Yeah, I'm using a spice mix from Just Spices. Now we have to open the can of tomato. For this, we need a can opener because there's no thing need to open it. See if I can do this without cutting myself. Oh, I did something. More than halfway through, come on. Also, I'm wearing white. I don't think it's the best idea. Oh, but now we have to put this here. Oh, it smells so good already. Now we're gonna add some fresh basil. But this is done, and now we have to make the fun part. So what we need to do is pour the sauce. So we have our lovely sauce here. And now we're gonna layer it. Aubergine, a zucchini, tomato, um, tempeh. You can't fit really anything else here. And now we're gonna put a bit of oregano, some basil, and a bit of Salt. And now this is ready to go in the oven for 40 minutes. But guys, how good does this look? Oh, it smells so nice and fresh. It's time to try it. Like, I want to try the sauce though. Let's see how good this is. I'm proud of this recipe. I don't know if I prefer this one over the croque monsieur, but whoa, this is good. I'll see you guys when I have to do the last recipe. I've been meaning to try this one for a while and I'm ready to take the challenge, I think. Also this with some bread. Oh, amazing. Uh. And we finally made it to the last recipe, which is the one that is probably gonna take the most time, but it's the one that I'm most excited for because I've never attempted it before, and that is a vegan croissant. I feel like it's a bit less likely that I will fail at this. We have to take baby steps there, okay? We're gonna get to the macaroons one day. It's recommended to do it with the machine, but we're gonna do it by hand. We gotta do what we gotta do, okay? And if we fail, it's fine. It, it, it won't look pretty, but it's gonna be edible. Uh, for this we need cool water. Perfect. And now we need to add all the other ingredients. That is some flour, sugar, butter, and then we need fresh yeast. And with the fresh yeast, if you're not going to use it in less than a week, you should freeze it. But now we crumble this on top. And the last thing we need to add is some salt before we're going to mix it in with a whisk. We're going to try to be the machine today. This is why you use the machine. We're going to try with a fork. And now we're gonna add some salt. It's like a pinch or two. But now this is ready to rest. I don't know if this is gonna work, so I have the recipe. In Notion database I'm working on, I'm gonna put the full recipe, obviously, for you guys to try out and enjoy with me my baked goods. Just because I can't sell them yet. The keyword here is jet. But now let's let the baby rest for two hours in a warm place. Please rise. Now, while that rests, we need to prepare the butter slab. What is that? It's basically you have to laminate like a piece of butter between the layers to get all those flaky bits. For this, you need a baking paper. We got the butter and we got a roller pin. Also, I thought this video was amazing to do because if you guys didn't know, I just came back from France. I've tried my first croissant this year. I liked it, but because of my allergies, it was hell afterward. But it was kind of worth it. And now we have to... Um, I kind of did something wrong here. Okay, see, this is kind of working. Is this process a lot messier? Yeah, but all roads lead to Rome eventually. I think this is it, guys. So now we just have to fold it in so it can rest in the fridge until we need to use it. But now all that's left to do is wait for two hours. In the meantime, we're gonna clean and test out some recipes. And um, we didn't really need this, so we might need it afterwards though. Two hours later. Our baby has risen. Trying my best to make it as rectangular as possible. Really wanna work at a bakery so I can learn more about how to do this kind of stuff. And now we have to put this in the fridge for like five, 10 ish minutes, and then we're ready to begin laminating five minutes later so it's time to laminate it got our butter perfect 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 you need to fold it just like that okay we're beginning this okay how do professionals do this okay, now we have to fold it in one and then two and roll that again really can't wait to oh no fold it like that uh, like a little book and then cover with some cling film and leave it in the fridge for about an hour and then do this three four times more many unbearable hours later <laughs> so 
So the time has come to actually shape the croissant. And for that, we're gonna use a pizza cutter. Let's get this going. It still needs to rest for an hour and a half. We have to work fast, otherwise the butter melts quite quickly. It's as good as we're gonna get. Now we're gonna cut this. I don't know what the street is, but oh well, that's one. Over here we have our tray ready to replace in the oven when. This one actually looks like a croissant. I want to keep it simple for the first batch here. This has to poo for one hour. I guess we have to wait more. And now actually time to clean everything. God, I hate the process of cleaning. Much, much, much later. It's time to put the babies in the oven. So let's go place them. And what I've done is I've preheated it and I've put like a tray so it creates some steam. Perfect. My croissants are ready. And we obviously need to try it out. This is the most anticipated recipe of the whole video. I'm just saying. I mean, that's not bad for my first, as they say in France, bon appetit. I definitely need to make some adjustments just so I can get more flaky layers. And now all that's left to do is get my family's review. I'm so excited to see what they think of it. Sí. Ah. Mm. Hola, soy Nadia, te hablo desde mi canal y realmente estoy súper conmocionada ¿Qué? con esa noticia porque estaba a punto de llegar a la final. Te deseré hoy. I hope you enjoy a oh, vegan croissant. croissant. Con chocolate sin chocolate. Without chocolate because it was like my first attempt, so I wanted to try it out. Es un croissant. Bueno, por la forma, ¿no? Te parece masita de pan. Si yo lo comparo con mis recuerdos de un croissant, pues mm. no, no tiene la dulce de croissant, ni tampoco la textura de un croissant. De un croissant okay. parece, parece más como un pancito. Y luego la parte del interior, de repente lo que te falta es la, la, el aire de la, del croissant. ¿Es good? Muy good. Welcome. Hope you enjoy. ¿Eso es croissant o galleta? Okay, so it's not really a croissant. I've made something. Epilogue. I hope you enjoy this journey through France. Please let me know in the comments down below what of the three items you would order at my cafe. I know it's hard to choose. But I mean, I could combine the ratatouille with the croissant. I'm just giving ideas out there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know you guys want more of these types of videos. And also let me know what other countries I should try their cuisine out. I would very much appreciate it if you would like to join the family by clicking the subscribe button down below and helping me reach 1k because once we reach 1k i'm gonna be attempting to make a four tier cake and I, oh. also if we reach 1k you guys know it's coming and that is making a blog for each of my subscribers as they say in france i know i'm gonna butcher the language yes like to say in a bonne journée et à la prochaine au revoir mon ami i'm gonna take this with me